Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Four Dads Podcast. You got the host Teeds and Don Julio, and today is actually our 50th episode, which is insane for me to think about, because I think we started this podcast just a little under a year now, Yeah, and we're at 50. And I mean, it speaks on consistency, uh, which we start something new, you never know how it's going to go. You know, if you do it for a few weeks, you could easily flame out, you know, um, but uh, I think it's pretty dope. 50 episodes uh next year we'll be talking about 100 if we get there knock on wood uh but i mean we've come a long way you know it's been a, it's been a little ride for sure man i know it's it's crazy to think you know we started this just before just before my daughter was born who just turns who just turned one years old on sunday last week um you know it, it's it's wild and i think you know the whole thing of what you just mentioned about a burnout it's like I just feel like we, you know, we just kind of, a lot of this stuff is just kind of free. Like we just yeah. kind of go with it as, as it is, you know, it's mm-hmm. not scripted. It's not, um, you know, we don't have like, uh, uh, you know, certain, certain points or regulations we have to like really follow. We're just, They're right. you know, yeah, we're just out here just having fun, picking up conversation. And, um, it's, it's been an amazing ride. I mean, it's, it's crazy to think that this is 50 and <laughs> right? I'm having to record it from my phone. <laughs> yeah. We thought we moved past this, oh, yeah. man. But I mean, yeah, I mean, you just mentioned, I mean, it's even, it's probably even more difficult for you. My son was about six, seven months at the time that we started this and you just had an infant, a baby girl. Yeah. First one, don't really know what you get yourself into. And that sleep is tough and you're still able to, be as consistent as you really can be with a podcast that you're not making money for. You're literally just talking to a friend about golf. That was literally no, no money in it. Just two guys just talking, talking sports, talking golf. So, uh, but yeah, so it's, I mean, it's exciting for sure. I, I, I mean, I've, I've loved, I've loved every minute of it. It's, it's been, it's been a, a heck of an experience, heck of a ride. I mean, it's not over yet. So we're still going and, Heck you know, yeah. we got a lot of big things coming. So, you know, just uh, appreciate all the support, you know, um, appreciate those of you guys that, that got the birch when we went or that got the hats when we did. That was huge. That was our first time. We got some great stuff coming out soon. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's just a really awesome feeling. <laughs> right. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. to come all that way. But I mean, let's jump into it right now. Last week, the Ryder Cup happened. And it was kind, I kind of expected it to happen how it did. You know, we weren't really going to play well. You're in Europe, Europeans. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm going to go into it really quickly. Just, just my thoughts on everything that happened really quickly. So we got it completely annihilated. I mean, yeah. the tournament started, I think, Thursday night or Friday morning, technically, like at 1 30 or whatever, you know, West Coast time. You wake up and we're down like five nothing or four nothing or five to one or whatever with the points. Yeah. And you're like, what four the nothing. heck just happened? You know, like yeah. what is going on? And you're seeing the Europeans not only just use, they do have studs, but they also had a few rookies on the team, like rookie rookies, like first, second year European tour, PGA tour guys that were just playing extremely, extremely well. The camaraderie was there. The team aspect you know was there having each other's backs you know and it was just on full display and i I saw these stats that kind of really irritated me of things that you would think a captain like zach johnson would say or try to do to you're going into enemy territory you have to handle this different than a home rider cup right you can't go into this thing ah you know what uh, most players haven't played competitive golf since august ah we're fine we got the number one players in the world i mean like you do that in the USA, you might be able to get away with it because you're at, you're at home. You know, you have the home crowd behind you. But competitive golf is what really gets you tuned into playing at the highest level that you can. And again, matchmaking is completely different than really any other golf tournament. All the other ones are short play. It's a little bit different. Uh, three of the players I found out didn't even go to the practice session. Like, you might be able to get away from that, get away with that in the U.S., you're not going to get away with that in a course you've never played, probably in a country of golf you've never played in Italy. You know, however, that aspect is a little different. You know, you're in Rome. You're not even attending the practice session. That's like, it's like when Bob, what was it? Uh, the good, good 
golf championship, like 50 K was it a fat Perez showed up, missed the practice round the day before because of his flight said, screw it. I'm just going to show up and play that morning. Ended up shooting terribly. It's like, I'd rather have good sleep over, you know, trying to, you know, prepare for this. And I'm like, obviously it's a little different there because it's YouTube stuff. But I mean, like this is when, where people are taking this very seriously. Fans are taking it extremely seriously. And then you also have the, the Zach Johnson didn't even bother scouting the top live players. Like, what are we doing? Like, and that clearly showed in his decision making. Like, you have to, that can't be an excuse. Like, oh, I wasn't able to go around. Well, dude, I think you're set for life with money and you're not winning that much when you're playing on the PGA Tour. You might be making a few cuts, nothing crazy. Scout yeah. the live guys. And it's not like the live guys play every weekend. Like, there's yeah. only one weekend a month that they play or once every other couple of weeks. Like, what are we doing? It just set us up for failure. And you saw the passion on the other side with the European team, how, how happy they were, how much they wanted it. You could just see it. And well, even it just, just sucked to watch. Sorry, I didn't mean to no, that was it. That was it. That was it. I mean, oh. I could go on forever. It was just like, no, Ugh. no, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. I think you just hit the, hit the nail right there perfectly. Um, you could just tell. You could just tell the team was a lot more was a lot more connected just off the first tee. I mean, everyone was standing there like, "Oh, America!" Like we need to put our hands behind our backs and just like straight face. And it was like, I mean, at the end of the day, you're still playing golf, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and obviously, you know, preparation is 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 everything. But it was tough staying up all night watching the first day and just being like, "What is going on?" I mean, Rory and um, shoot, I forget who we played with the first day, but they they had just put it on Brooks and uh, um, uh, and was Sheffield. it Scotty? Was it Scotty? Yeah, I think it was. They just had put it on him. I mean, it just didn't even look competitive. I mean, everyone talked about how Scott, you know, how how Scheffler was on the back of the cart, like hands and face in his hands, like he was crying or whatever. But mm -hmm. and I just it. It just didn't even look competitive, like at all. Yeah, looked like me and you, you out know? there playing a, a like a <laughs> like a, a what like a what are they called? Uh, Corn Fairy Tour players. Like we're not yeah. terrible, but like it looked like we did not belong there. No, no, you know? it, it just um, for sure. I mean, it it just I don't know. It was hard. I mean, it was hard to like stay up. I mean, it, you know, you're you're most people here are like super pumped up for the Ryder Cup. I think it's the one time where you know the the United States and everybody you're playing for you're playing for your country right and mm -hmm. leading into that it's like you hear about uh you know our our favorite guy Patrick Cantlay you know over here saying oh yeah I don't want to wear the team hat because I'm not paid or whatever mm, I don't know if that's true but I heard that I did hear that yeah I I mean I I read about that and that was one of the rumors I was going on but it's like <laughs> yeah. you know dude you, first and foremost, you should be grateful to even be on the team with the season you've had. It hasn't been that impressive this year, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, just to hear that is just like, come on, man! Like you're playing, well, you're playing, you're you're playing for your country. No, I agree. I mean, I agree. And there have been a ton of photos released ever since that whole rumor came out, you know, about the hat thing. Just yeah. showing Cantley playing without hats, and like he played the Ryder Cup as a teenager, no hat. He has played, I think, the previous Ryder Cup without a hat. And I don't know if that all. I doubt it all goes back to money. It might now. I know back in the day, apparently Tiger and uh, Phil Mickelson they made a thing like back in maybe whether it was the nineties or early two thousands. They're like, we should be getting paid for this because like you have to fly out here, you know, like. It's money. It's time. We have to stay, put up put up for all this stuff. Yeah, we make a lot of money, but still, like, how we with 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 the PJ Tour being a for profit, right? For profit uh, company, non profit, non -profit or whatever. Non -profit. They have so much freaking money they can easily put. And then so the PJ Tour apparently was like, okay, yeah, uh, instead of paying you, we'll just give. Uh, we'll have you pick a uh, organization that you want to donate two hundred thousand dollars to. Like, what the heck, dude? Yeah. Then, then you make the PGA Tour players look bad if they say no, we don't want to do that. Like, oh, you don't want to donate money when it's such like a a crappy move, in my opinion. Instead of just being like, yeah, we'll we'll cover you guys lodging and staying and stuff like that, and just enjoy the time out there. But yeah, yeah, I, that's, it, that's it, a little bit more it, than I knew about it. I I just was like, I don't know. I just felt like that. I just felt like that whole kind of that whole remark is just 
It's like, it's not what you're there for. You know, right. I mean, you still get paid one way or the other because your sponsors. Rocking, yeah, your sponsors, you know, all you have to do is compete and really just at least give a decent, you know, a decent, you know, competitive um, play for the weekend, but you're still getting something. It's not, I mean, and again, like, I, I was thinking about this the other day, too, or actually on the way to, to Disneyland, I was thinking about this episode and thinking, do you think that there's still that the fact of Brooks being on the on the on the team and him being a live guy, maybe there's some animosity between the team knowing that like Brooks Brooks pockets are fat where these guys are, you know, they they had a sorry, they hadn't won a tournament, you know, in a while for some of mm -hmm. them. And that's that's money out of their account. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it was there, whether it's consciously or, sub or subconsciously. Um, I don't know how much of an effect it had, but I mean, just the way that the whole thing went down, it just did not seem like the U.S. really, really wanted to be there, you know, and the team just seemed weird. I mean, it's not it, it, it just I mean, even just the listing itself, it just doesn't seem like a team that would that would really join together you know, and, and go to bat for each other aside from Justin and Jordan, who, you know, Jordan did absolutely nothing on the last Terrible. Day. Oh Terrible. Oh gosh, yeah. I was, I was impressed to see how well uh, Justin was striking the ball after all the stuff. I mean, I, I felt mm -hmm. like he played fairly decent. He played decent, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was a bit disappointed with the way that, you know, Scotty, the way that Scotty played, you know, Sanders. Yeah, they got killed, wasn't Didn't they lose, like, 9-8 yeah. versus, like, uh, what was it, yeah. Hovland and Abner or whatever? Like, yeah. I, there's some rookie, yeah. and it's just like, what? Yeah. Like, 9-8, yeah. dude? Like, you'd only, you only play the front nine, and it's a full 18, ter like, match. Like, what are yeah. we doing? Well, and then on top of that, like, Ricky giving a three-foot putt to... um Right. I what forget was, who it was. His name? Uh, the dude with the long hair. Uh, long hair. Oh my god! Why am I blanking on from his where? Name? From where? From the European team. No, uh, I know that, but I mean, like, what country? From Europe? Europe, Europe is all oh, Europe. Uh, Fleet, uh, Fleetwood. Tommy, Tommy. Tommy Fleetwood. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he gave him the three foot putt, knowing that all like Friday and Saturday, Tommy was struggling hitting those putts. I think he lit like a bunch of them. Uh, and he, he hasn't won a he won a PGA tournament. He always ends up breaking down. I mean, you just gotta yeah, yeah. But it was like I mean, I don't know. They said it was three feet, but it looked like it was further on TV. And I'm like, why are you giving that to him? Mm -hmm. Make him putt it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, dude, don't give anything at that point. You guys are down. Like, make them putt it, even if it's on the freaking lip. We need some dogs, bro. We need some dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had no like Kevin he, Kisner or someone, you know, just to like, you know, get in their get in their heads, you know. Well, like, and, that's the, and that's the other thing was like, you know, going through the whole situation with with Rory and 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 Bones is like, you know, there was no drama on on the course. It was off, and it's like Rory, calm, you know, calm down. Like it was a big, big putt. It's not like Bones purposely did it. You know, and there's I mean, no chance he's gonna make that. I'm sorry, but there was no yeah. chance you're gonna make that. Like, sorry, Rory. Like that. That wasn't the reason you missed it. Let's just let's just be. Yeah. Real. There's no way. Yeah. I mean, and it was kind of funny seeing Shane Lowry, like, you know, oh, being like the guy, like, hey, calm yeah. down, calm down, all right. And then today, I think it was uh, Pat Perez's wife. I think it was. Pat yeah, Perez's yeah, wife. I saw that post. What, yeah, what exactly yeah, she, did it say? Yeah, she was saying like, I would love to see Rory just get punched in the face. <laughs> like for acting like that you know just someone just come up and just boom you know put the dude's a twig him. man he's got he's got he's got great you know uh what is it rotation he's got great flexibility but he is i mean okay not a twig isn't like his arms he, he's got muscles but he's a small dude right he's he not is. like tall or anything like that so obviously he, he's really in amazing shape but like not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind it either. The dude is starting to like he's he start, his ego is getting way too in the way yeah. of golf in his game now with ever yeah. since Live and, and PGA split, he's just taken on that role where it's like me against you and like I'm better yeah. and and it's just so annoying. And you're not like you you don't you don't even win. You can't yeah. even you can't even you can't even finish in a Masters in the top in the top ten. Like 
Mm-hmm. You're you're nobody, bro. Like, go figure out your thing and just go work in silence and don't say anything to anybody. Don't try and be like buddy, buddy. <laughs> just yeah. go go into grind mode, like uh, like like Brooks. You know, just shut the mm-hmm. world out and just go do your thing. Like, I, I yeah, I, I think you're right on that. I just don't, I just don't like his attitude and the entitlement he has just because of his loyalty and he's, and he's the PGA's, you know, pony boy, Mm -hmm. like they're still not taking care of you. You know, like you're, you're not doing anything to change the game in any way besides hitting it further and, you know, showing that hitting the ball country mile high. Well now, well now they're doing that thing with tiger, right? That on that new professional, like virtual thing. I don't know. I I don't know. They just, is that, is that they just happening? signed something a few days ago in like no in like January. It's supposed to drop in January, the day after the college football national championship, apparently. Early January. Yeah, but see, but see that's but see that that's got Tiger's name on it. He's piggybacking he's piggybacking right. off of Tiger's name. So anything right. that has Tiger's name on it is gonna be like, whoa, like, this Gold. is sick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, same I mean, as much as Phil's name is being being dragged through the mud, like I feel like even Phil's name would be would still be great. You put you mm-hmm. put a... Uh, uh, you put Freddie Couples' names on something. I feel like that's still going to be something. Gary Player, like I mean, like I these. think for those you got to like, and this is just this is just obviously my opinion, but in order to make it entertaining, you're playing a virtual one now, right? This isn't like like you're actually on the course and you're watching pros play, but you, I want some entertainment. I want this like on HBO, HBO Max, and you put on like Pat Perez or Kevin Kisner or people who are just known for crap talking people and just having fun. But also hitting like hitting darts, right? Just like messing with around, getting in they their should, heads, you know, back off challenges, a, country yeah, club they, adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> they should just bring the barstool crew onto this thing. Why not, Those man? Guys, I mean I've been I've been watching that bar the barstool match on, on YouTube and uh Dave Portner was playing against this guy I forget what his name is, uh like they call him Tom not Big Wet. Cat, was it? No. No, no, not Big Cat. It was uh, some other guy. But he's like, hey, he's like double or nothing. You know, he's like twenty k. Guys, like, dude, I can't do that. The wife's gonna kill me. He's like, well, if we tie, you still get your ten k. You know, but if you win, you, you know, you get twenty. <laughs> so he shakes his hand with the whole time. He's just talking. He's just talking mess to him the entire time. Dave is just <laughs> chirping at this guy. And what was beautiful was like he hits this great drive. Dave obviously is not like the best golfer, but mm-hmm. he, he gets around. This guy hit a decent drive, and then he has, I think, is like one sixty five in to this part to this part four, mm-hmm. and uh, he's all in his head. He's all you know. Dave's chirping at him, and all of a sudden he hits the shot, and it just gets right over the bunker, rolls in subtly, you know, and he's just right there. He's got like an eight foot putt for birdie, and and uh, um. Dave's walking back to the cart like, well, ain't that something? Ain't that something? He goes, <laughs> throw a little extra cash and and, and uh, he goes, Porky the pig figures out to hit a golf shot. <laughs> it's like, dude, love that. And then the guy who's jogging for the other player is like, he's like, don't even pay any attention to that. Don't even pay any attention to that. He's like, Porky the pig's about to get paid. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Well, I got I got one question for you, uh, and I might answer it after. But like to to wrap up the whole Ryder Cup thing, the annihilation. If you were the Ryder Cup captain and you had the team that you had, what would you have potentially done differently? Not like groups or anything like that, but preparation wise, because it just seemed like they were not prepared. Yeah, would have booked a day at a at at some some miniature some miniature golf course. And just Bring have your own play. Scotties. Yeah, I would have just had them play putt putt and you know have pizzas and just just play video games. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, dude, honestly, honestly, I I really don't know. I mean, it's that's a tough for me personally. It's it, it's a tough question because it's these guys are all individualists when you're playing, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, even in right. even in team matches, it comes down to what are you doing if you're not in the right state. There's just certain things that you just can't coach. I mean, if you got a guy like Patrick Cantlay who's pissed off because he had to use his money to be there and not getting anything extra while he's got a guy like Brooks Kepka who's got two hundred and seventy million dollars sitting fat, you know, on on in, in his pocket, doesn't even have to mm-hmm. worry about it. You can say right. it's a business write off and not have to worry about it. You know, um yeah, I mean that that kinda that kinda shakes my head a little bit. 
you know? Yeah. Um, also, seeing certain guys like Wyndham Clark, who, yeah, you had one great win, but did you deserve to be on that, on that team? Not yeah. at all. Right. You know, same with Sam Burns. Who? You know, like, <laughs> what What have you really... Sorry, I mean, Sammy. Yeah, it's like, it, you, I mean, your name has, you've been a contender, but you're not a finisher. Like, mm-hmm. in, in something like this, I, I want ruthless dudes. I want guys mm-hmm. who are going to get over there you know, maybe have their caddy walk slow in front of their caddy just to throw off their pace. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. I, I need a bunch I want, of Cantlays, man. Yeah. Well, I just want, I just want dogs. Well, yeah. If Cantlay, if Cantlay wasn't so in his, in his, if Cantlay wasn't so in his head about the whole money thing, I would have, if I'm Zach Johnson, and I guess I am answering this question, but mm-hmm. if, if I'm Zach Johnson, I'm going to be like, dude, take your time. Like, mm-hmm. play your game, get these guys off their rhythm, do whatever it is. Like switch it up, maybe take one where you step off the ball three times, like you know, um, mm-hmm. get you know, make it quick where you you take a look and you step right in and throw it up to where the the speed is off, you know, mm-hmm. and over putts take as much freaking time as possible, especially in the team stuff because the other guys like, hey, I'm just chilling until you, right? Until you do your thing, right? So yeah. I would have encouraged that. Same with, I mean, Brooksy. If if I'm Zach Johnson, I'm I'm getting I'm like Brooks, you're my, you know, you're my guy. I need you to be Captain America and freaking, like, do your thing, Scotty. Mm-hmm. I'm going up to Scotty, saying I need you on that carpet, on that green every morning, practicing six foot mm-hmm. putts. I don't want to see you doing anything else. We know you're the best striker in all of golf. Mm-hmm. You're doing amazing things. Like, just get comfortable over six feet. I don't care if you yeah. have to switch your grip five times, five times while looking over one putt. Like yeah. if you gotta claw it, if you gotta, you know, preacher it, if you gotta do whatever, like figure it the F out. Then right. Jordan, I'm like, hey dude, I know you're a competitor, but I need you just to play your game. Just play yours. You know, I wouldn't say anything more. Justin, I would tell him the same thing. Play your game. Don't try and do anything fancy. You know, get the ball near the hole, finish out. Like Yeah. Yeah. I mean the only thing that I would probably add, and I don't even know if they do this or if there's even enough time to do this in between tournaments from when the Ryder Cup starts and when the last PGA event is that they do, but get guys out in a couple, like a couple weeks, whether it's 10 days or 14 days, the whole team, tell them it's mandatory unless you're, or you're not going to be on the team and bring their families or whatever, that's fine. But just have them on a couple courses, whether it's like not a Pebble Beach, but a course like that where there's like four or five different courses you can play at a different time, you know, everyone at once. And just mix and match players playing different styles of games. Okay, today you guys are going to do match play versus these two guys. Tomorrow you're going to do four ball versus them. And then we're going to change partners the next few days, you know, and then we're going to try and figure out who has the best, you know, mojo with each other. Because obviously you see the the Cantlay and uh, Shoffley, they've all, they're buds, right? They're good yeah. friends. They play well together, and obviously you have JT and Jordan, but you never know. There could be a better connection that, I mean, because how often do players really play with other players? But never. never. Like you said, it's an individual game. So, and then maybe like one or two of those days, or half of one or two of those days, like you said, just take them out to a putt-putt, take them out to a, a golf uh, golf tracer, top tracer, or something like that, get some beers, maybe go bowling night with the guys, something just, you know, to build that camaraderie, yeah. messing around, video games, something, just to keep that togetherness there because when you're in anime territory regardless of what sport it is like it's just a hostile environment obviously depending on the amount of people you have there but you know baseball it's hostile soccer it's crazy you know football it's crazy basketball it's insane it's also an enclosed environment there but golf yeah at these rider cups like the fans are chirping they'll find anything that they can and they will just chirp 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 to get in your head yeah and there's nothing love- you can do <laughs> yeah i saw that clip of uh uh Cantley was walking into I think it was like the seventh hole or something like that and there's like a group of people <clears> and they're all waving their hats like pay me pay me <laughs> well you and saw that and then Cantley later yeah. he, he made like a massive putt and all the USA team took their hats off and they're like yeah yeah like messing yeah, around yeah. but uh yeah I mean that was a tough one to watch I know even Rory himself was like Beth Page we're gonna we're gonna win at Beth Page I'm like bro that's two years away you probably won't even make the team in two years bro like you you bear the only reason you made it now is you know because of the PGA tour and being the pony boy for that but I mean that's I feel like it's so hard to win at home and especially they're saying in Europe 
it's hard it's harder for the Americans to win in Europe because all the Europeans for one now live in America and they're also home is obviously traditionally Europe. Yeah. So they have that both ways advantage that the USA only has an advantage somewhat in the United States. But when you're still living there for seven, eight years, like I've been in the Central Valley now for going on nine years now, I'm used to it now. And going back home playing golf and where I'm from, the Central Coast is so different. It's colder, oh, yeah. it's wetter, it's damp. You know, it's not as dry. The ball doesn't go as far, but you're so used to playing a certain style of golf. And then you yeah. play it in another area and it's just like, you also need to get there early to you can't how you can't not play practice sessions. Like what are we doing? Like I, I so to so to where you're from, I I just drove back I took one oh one all the way back home instead of going mm-hmm. to the five, which turned out to be a massive mistake. That's another story. <laughs> um, but, but uh I didn't realize how many I didn't realize how many courses there were over there. There's a lot of golf a lot of really nice golf we played up there. Yeah. Um obviously you know, uh we had to stop and make you know, get baby some food and stuff, but uh, yeah, made a quick stop over by Sandpiper. Beautiful, beautiful track. Took out my driver, went to the range for a little no, bit. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just was just like, I just was taking it in, just like, wow, this is beautiful. Um, I going back to the Ryder Cup, did uh, did you see that the hospitality center caught on fire like two days day yesterday after, or yeah, something like, like yeah, yeah, yeah like the day, or yeah. The, a few days after Zach Johnson's okay. like F this dude. <laughs> if I don't win, whatever, no one's gonna win. <laughs> Burn it all. <laughs> Burn it all. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just like wow. crazy. It was like a, uh, it was like a Fortnite. It was like a Fortnite freaking finish over there. It's a hot finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but, the, but this this Ryder Cup really grinded my gears. I just did not see it. Except for pra- Patrick on that last hole when he hit like that thirty foot putt or whatever and drained it. That Besides was, that, it was just like yeah, it was boring. It really uh, was. There was just nothing that was like. I mean, plus it's at one a.m. So unless you're like jacked up on on Red Bulls and monsters and you know a lawn or whatever, like maybe you get excited. But other than that, it's just like. Well, I mean, apparently a lot of people were saying that the coverage was terrible as well because I didn't it watch was. it from that time. But like they it, used so many commercials, and it's like, oh, let's show you the, let's fun, show you what dude. you missed in a commercial. It's like, what are we doing? Well, like if you're watching, so like if you're watching through like normal, you know, like through the golf channel, yes, there was hella. But I ended up switching over to YouTube TV, and it was, you know, it was pretty, it was pretty, uh, um, it was, it was better. We saw it after that, yeah. Okay, but, okay. but no, trying to watch it on like my on my tv and then watching the featured groups on on uh on my computer um it 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 was like night and day difference i mean there was like they would finish a hole four commercials then to the next one yeah and right here right. i'm watching them just move over the commentators are talking like oh my god you know they're down by another shot here what are they, <laughs> what's the u.s team gonna do yeah so yeah, yeah. i mean it, in the end i feel like zach johnson had to be like one of the worst u.s captains yeah, that's, ever that's what everyone's saying they're like he's and... gonna go down as one of the worst as one of the worst captains in in Ryder Cup <sighs> history for sure <sighs> but moving on to something else not Ryder Cup related I was talking to you just off line about this but I think this is honestly pretty cool um I don't know if she'd be the best for it but Lexi Thompson LGPTA LG LPGA star Lexi Thompson has won a few majors she is actually set to become the fifth woman ever to compete in a PGA Tour event she'll be playing in the Shriners Children's Open in Las Vegas I think a few weeks ago we talked about this remember we're t- they need to have a tournament in Vegas I think they have one it's at I'm blanking on the tournament I think I said it last one uh but October 12th so I think next oh TPC Summerlin that's right TPC Summerlin mm. uh, they're playing uh next weekend so a woman in the men's event. I'm really interested to see how this is because I, I haven't looked anything up to see when the last one was, how they did. But obviously, playing the Wayback Tees, playing the PGA Tees would be really interesting to see how they would, how she would fare. I know she's, I don't know, I honestly don't know too much about Lexi besides she's a multiple, you know, major winner. She, 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 hits, a, she, hits, she hits the ball, she hits the ball away. I mean, you know. Her I, swing I think... makes it look like it. She definitely gets all of it. I mean, like when she swings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a bit unorthodox, but I mean she's won she's won a lot, but I think uh I think she can hold I think she can hold her own. I mean she's a great putter. She has she's got special mittens for, for hands. I mean she she's a player. Um I don't know I, I mean I don't know 
this was years ago when I was watching her just kind of tearing it up, but I don't, I mean, as far as, as far as what, uh, um, as far as what I've heard and have seen in highlights, like she still, she still has some game, you yeah. know? Well, I think she so. did have a, she was part of the Solheim cup a few weeks ago, had a horrible lie on a chip. Did we, did we lose shake. that too? Yep. We lost that. So the crazy thing is, I, if I'm not mistaken, we lost the USA lost the Ryder Cup. We lost the Solheim Cup, and I think we lost both amateur Solheim and the the Ryder Cup amateurs as well. So we just completely just got waxed across the board, uh, which was awesome. Um, but uh, but I have a small golf announcement. Your boy Teeds is now a jogger guy. He's part of the jogger gang. You're rocking, some, primo, you're, you're rocking some primos? Primo. I just got them. They came in today, man. I, I got some uh, Try Before You Buy from Amazon. And uh, just want to see how they were because I know with Jordans, it just does not look good to have the pants all the way down, at least in my opinion. They just don't look good like that. So I was like, let's see how they look. And I'm like, ooh, these actually look pretty kind of good. Uh, actually, I, I don't know how long I can keep rocking them being 32. You know, I'm kind of getting over that hump a little bit. But for the time being, I'm like, ooh, these these are kind of nice. It's a Euro- it's a European thing, man. You can rock them as long as you, as long as you want. Soccer. <laughs> well, as long as I move to Europe, baby. I mean, over here in America, we're we're limited on our time with the nah. with the hipsters, man. That's that's the <laughs> that's the new style, bro. Everyone rocks them. I I had I had one pair, I had one pair of Primos. Um, but I don't know. My legs are just my legs are just too big. It just looks you weird. You got tree trunks, bro. What the heck, man? You gotta yeah. slim those pups up, man, if you want to rock these things. <laughs> yeah, you really do. I feel like that's the only <laughs> yeah. way you could rock them. I mean, I got yeah, I got I got huge legs, so I don't think that's gonna work. But with <laughs> with uh with my when I wear my Jordans, I I always just tuck the front and then just kind of let the back hang out. Party in the business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. So, uh, I know you were gone last week for um, Disneyland, which was probably epic. I uh, don't need to go so too much, much into that. I mean, we could probably have a whole episode on the Disneyland experience of the baby, but um, it actually before was that, not as it wasn't as bad as you thought. No, no, no she was a trooper. Was, she she was a trooper, but mom was an absolute superhero. I mean, yeah. and we had grandpa and grandma there, which was that was a cl- that's, was, a, that's which, a light yeah, hack, man. Which, which was which was very helpful, but I didn't realize how much how much awesome stuff Disney provides for new. Mothers. Oh, really? Oh, Dude. nice. Oh, well, yeah. We'll have to make an episode on it. But for all you moms out there, for all you dads that are like, oh my god, it's going to be so stressful. The only stressful thing is the timing of waking up. If your baby's waking up at five, like you know, like okay, you got to get to the park by eight. You know, if we don't want to wait in lines, get yourself that good, comfortable uh, carrier. Or if the baby is a is a is a um, a walker stroller sleeper, oh, you know, yeah. stroller sleeper, like get them to pass out, start playing like the the the, the mobile um, hatch machine, get them to fall asleep, and then you're chilling, right? Mm-hmm. You go on single riders, you do your thing, go have your fun. But that's really the hardest thing is like. Okay, is she waking up at six thirty, or is she waking up at five? Is she waking up at seven? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> it's a little that, roulette, like, huh? a little like a Russian roulette. Yeah. We're gonna find out, man. Yep, you be ready. Yep. You be ready. <laughs> yeah, but we'll 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 talk about it. It's actually yeah. not. I was I was just really happy, but I just want to give a huge shout out to my wife for just being an absolute beast this whole this whole week. I was blown away by how amazing she was. It made me feel like crap. I need to do more. <laughs> she was just an absolute it's, yeah women are incredible women are definitely incredible that's yeah. for sure um but yeah i feel like i feel like for now i feel like we were able to pack in a lot unless there's anything else golf related you want to talk about for this week um, i just want to put it out there that um i'm working on my videos but obviously since i was gone mm-hmm. this uh this last week it's still it's still there and now i can't remember my password for my laptop so <laughs> i gotta figure that out and hopefully <laughs> Hopefully, I should have something, but um, I'm going to be playing 36 holes on Sunday. Hopefully, um, so I'll be having, I'll have some new content for that too. Looking forward to it, man. I mean, everyone's yeah. getting tired of watching me hit in the 80s. They're like, dude, we need some people <laughs> shooting 70s or subpar, please. <laughs> yeah, tired of watching teats, but uh, but yeah, I feel like we were able to jam pack a lot of this episode about, especially the Ryder Cup. I really wanted to talk about that because of just 
man, I could, uh, I, if I wanted, if we wanted to, we could probably could have done one on Monday, you know, and just started early or whenever yeah. you would have left, whenever you end up not leaving for uh, uh, Disneyland. But yeah, I mean, number 50, again, just insane that we're even here. You know, I didn't even think it was how long it was going to go. I knew we we're just going to have fun and talk and see where it went and just became part of routine. I'm a big routine guy. You could, you could ask yeah. my son. You can ask my son. He's a big, I, I'm a big routine guy and he's in all the routines because I'm like, Hey, you need, I like anytime he wakes, okay, your naps around this time, you're waking up around this time. If you're not awake, I'm put you down by this time. And then yeah. anyone else that tries to tell me differently, like, Oh no, no, no. Like he's doing this, you know, he, he's, he's with us. Let, let him stay up later. It's like, are you going to put no. him down? Are you going to yeah. wake up if he wakes up? Is yeah. it, if that's, if those answers are no, then please like, it's nothing against you. I just like my sleep. Okay. And please just let me do my thing. This is my boy. This yeah. is my son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yep. that's uh that sounds exactly like Isis when it when it comes to her mom watching out of the way put her no, down yeah. at 7 30 7 30 i okay. will call and we are yeah. going to make sure i'm going to talk to adelina facetime <laughs> i want to see this yeah. make sure she's yeah. down yeah but yeah. uh but yeah i mean again like julio said earlier thank you guys all for all your all your support i think we're over we're at like 111 subscribers now on youtube it's, it's slowly starting to creep up dude somehow my thankfully my the best round that i ever had my one under that's the video that's like it's got like 2800 views and it's just climbing i don't know it's got to be should, like the you jumbo should, you, should keep, you should take uh you should take some more you should take some more uh clips of it and just put it on the tiktok page put post it on, on uh on Gonna instagram to. too yeah and actually yeah i've noticed the tiktok page is growing pretty significantly too which is nice so yeah, yeah guys again like thank you for uh all the support i mean this is again this was just something that we just thought like hey we're just going to give it a try and we now we got a little community of people and we appreciate you guys um speaking of our community of people let's all gather together and give a huge congratulations to john and stephanie for their anniversary that's Ooh, beautiful woo. congrats guys thank you Keep it going <laughs> four years we made it we're here yep. <laughs> well, cool all right then well then stay flies go low and have some fun and uh, enjoy your rest of your weekend take care everybody